That's true. Naked Palpatine. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, you think that one? Fresh out of the clone tank, nude Palpatine is my That's well, the first thing I think of when you say Dark Empire Palpatine. Back to the expanded universe now we're by disney oracle looks film whichever way you slice it legends today i have for you something that's still not a story and also same shirt because it's the same day because i read them both in the same day but we have the imperial handbook which i originally thought was disney canon it did come out post the buyout it came out in 2014 but it is still labeled legends therefore it counts within the legends timeline now there's not too much story here um this is the Imperial Handbook, which is what, like, all the Imperials would have read about, whether they were, like, in the Army or whatever, or the Navy or this or that, da da, da. like, uh, Tarkin writes stuff in here, Yalaran writes stuff in here, you know, so we have stuff from people in here. Even Sutra Fell writes a section in here. Um, but this is probably the most boring. Um, there's really nothing new here that you learn whatsoever. In fact, there's already Imperial source books that exist before this that probably would have given you most of this information. This just would have been the most up-to-date because of the fact that it was written later. Um, but, you know, it talks about transitions from the Republic Army to the Imperial Navy, all that stuff. Um, we have lots of messages from General Rican, from Medine before he got shot, um, which doesn't mean this is necessarily a place before Darksaber because... The way that a lot of th th these books work is that every person kind of got a hold of the book at one point or another, and then they jot down their thoughts. Um, so Medine wrote something. Leia, of course, has written stuff. Um, Wedge writes stuff when it involves ships and whatnot. He's like, well, actually, it was like this. And then um, Luke writes stuff as well. So even though it really doesn't make sense for Luke to be writing this one, but whatever. So, you know, it just... And then we get, you know, a couple, like dialogues of Palpatine as he's, he's being inaugurated and talking about becoming the Emperor and some of the stuff that you'll that will change with that. I mean, it's overall rather boring and pretty standard. Like it's it, like really if you just want to understand how the Empire works and this is this is what you kind of read about, but you don't really need this to really understand the Empire, but it's there if you want it. There's really nothing here of substance that was really added. Um Outside of the fact that there is a really cool little section with the person that created the Dark Troopers, where that gets a little bit of a section inside this book, which is fun, because of course Kyle Katarn defeats them in the, you know, video game uh, Dark Forces. And of course, if you are a new canon slash dual canon fan, you know, Dark Troopers did pop up in The Mandalorian or whatever. So you, so you have that going for you. So it was a cool little addition, but it was clearly meant to be only for the Legends continuity when it referenced that. Um, and then the only other thing was that Luke makes a comment at which point that he knew about the Temple Assault. Because it talks about the Temple Assault with the Clone Troopers as they righteously went to go defeat the unhinged Jedi in the Temple. And even Luke says here, Luke, just like the rest of us, wants to know more about the prequels. And, you know, say what you will about the future of the franchise moving forward, but I'm really appreciative that we actually get stories that let... Luke get some of that closure, get some of that knowledge about, you know, the, uh, the prequel era, um, especially in Dark Nest. Um, it's more Jason and Legacy of the Force, but uh, Luke gets to see some stuff in, in Dark Nest, which I thought, you know, Walk and Tribe, very cool for him to be able to get to see that, because I, I think that is great. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing really to add here. It's really not that good. Like, I cannot for the life of me, in my good taste... I sound like I'm following. I'm just saying, in, in my opinion, I cannot recommend the Bounty Hunters Guild or the Imperial Handbook. It just seems unnecessary. It's a waste of your money. I mean, if you really want it, you can get it, but it doesn't really add anything to the Expanded Universe. It just kind of respounds things you already know. So I, I don't feel this is really necessary. The two that I would recommend wasting your money on is the Jedi Path and the Book of the Sith. These other two, take or leave it. You don't need it, but it's there if you want it. It is a part of the Expanded Universe timeline, which is why I decided to include it here. This is a first time for me, but you know, I will say I had the most fun reading the Jedi Path and the Book of the Sith. These things were kind of drags, reiterating things I already knew, but they're there if you want them. So that's pretty much it, guys. 
I uh, didn't have too much to add there. I hope this was okay. I know this format for the last couple weeks has been a bit different because I'm used to, I'm used to reviewing stories, which is not really what these are. But I hope uh, it was informative and interesting nonetheless. Up next, I have something Expanding Universe related, but not Expanding Universe. And I'll, I'll tell you now, if you stuck through this video because you're special and you love me and decided to watch my videos and watch them all the way through, I love you, those of you who do. Um, I'm going to do something that I know no one has done on this platform yet because I've looked. I've looked really hard. Um, it's Expanding Universe related, but it's not Expanding Universe whatsoever. There is a name amongst servers and amongst people that is well known but all the stories are kind of not really talked about or at least not in any big way so hand of thrawn 45 is a guy who's been writing fan fictions for a while now now remember these are not canonical in any way shape or form to the expanded universe and whether they're good or bad stories you cannot use them as a crutch from stories um um in the expanded universe however they are so prolific and so kind of talked about by people that I thought it would be interesting to discuss them with you. Um, I plan on doing that myself and I plan on discussing that with people who I think will be more negative about it. There and by my friend uh, Brennan who we have a podcast with and I would like to discuss certain ones with him on our podcast for the Expanding Universe website. Um, but as far as this goes, the, the story that I'm first going to review, because uh, I've read a few in my own time, but it is a story centered around Leia um, officially, you know, declining the uh, role of Chief of State and seeing how Boris Fela kind of got a hold of that. And we're just going to check that out. It could be really bad. It could be really good. It could be eh. Who knows? But we're going to check that out together and see what that's like. Um, but I don't really have any expectations. Um, I hear the Sword of the Jedi trilogy is really bad. Uh, from Noah and Matt Wilkins, both of them agreed on something, which was insane to me. So... You know, but that's going to be something further down the line, like way down the line once the actual stories are done. But I just thought it would be interesting to discuss these things because no one really has on the YouTube platform yet. So I thought, why not be the first? Um, I may like them, I may not, but I, I'm just going to check them out and get my honest opinion um, about them. And, you know, it's just because, you know, I love the expanding universe and, you know, whether it's good or bad, somebody's writing a story and they've been talking to enough around a bunch of people that I thought, hey, maybe I should give it a shot and just see what they're all about and give my honest opinions, you know? And it can be just something fun to read, not connected to the expanding universe in any way, shape, or form because if the EU gets continued, it, those won't be canon. But, you know, it, it's just something different, you know, for, for a YouTube series. They're going to be called specifically, like, fan fiction reads. Um, and I, once I get through the, the Hand of Thrawn stuff, I'll let people just recommend stuff to me. It better not have any NSFW, though. That's, that's my only request. If you're going to request me to read fan fictions, they need to not have sexual stuff in it. Okay? Thank you. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much my idea. And then, of course, I'll go back to the actual Star Wars. But I thought it'd be interesting in between that to kind of see what that's all about. So anyway, that's pretty much my thoughts moving forward. It'll be that. Then back to Prime, the comic book series, um, and then I'm taking a small break to read uh, another Dune trilogy. So, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, share it with a ton, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in that fan fiction review. Till then.